beginning of day 135 now and we are on top of the what's this called do you even know hill we're going up the lincoln mountain lincoln mountain and we'll be above tree line for the next two miles and it's just really foggy no views sprinkling sprinkling a little bit of rain and uh it's not bad though we're only doing 10.3 miles today uh just trying to take it easy with the full pack in the whites and we'll be doing just over 14s every day till we get to gorham so we'll see if those are too much or or not but uh this is what we're looking at <laughs> not much of anything but really windy it's so windy and awesome and the trail's all lined with rocks so it's pretty easy to follow right now but i know a little bit later there's a lot less blazes and uh Get there, guys. Get to the top and look before it goes away. I'm going. I'm doing it. Now, this is good enough. You're going to start to see some of the clouds. Okay, I'm going off trail here to see this view. You can see the clouds going over the path. Pretty cool. Uh, this is awesome. We're up 136 now, and uh, I didn't film it, but yesterday while we were on that ridge line, it just started pouring probably the worst rain that we've had with wind and everything. It was just awful. We got soaked. Shoes are soaked this morning too. And uh, at least it's sunny today. And we kind of have some views. And it shouldn't rain too much, but this trail is awful. It's waterfall. Basically just coming down from here, and it just keeps going down. One of the huts look like up here in the mountain. They're pretty expensive to stay at, but they're really nice. And they have nice views. So. And we're going up the Air Force. Definitely the easiest part of the Whites is a nice Ethan Pond trail. It's flat, no rocks, and it's like five miles long. So it's pretty nice and we're excited because it's at the end of our day. So yeah. still walking along that Ethan Pond trail and you just get nice views of the whole mountain. We're just kind of in a valley here. That's looking up to the left, and it just follows along this ridge line. Beginning of day 137 now, and it sucks. It's all rainy, and we do have some more ridge line walking to do today because we're trying to get to the Lakes of the Clouds hut, which is right at the base of Mount Washington, and uh, they have a little hiker room there called the dungeon that's ten dollars that they let through hikers stay and they also offer work for stay so we'll try and do that but i don't know if we'll get there early enough before other people because we're doing 14 miles today and yesterday we did 14 and it took us nine hours but the last five were the easy ethan pond trail walking so i'm thinking it's going to take us around 12 hours or so today 
but we'll see. Well, we just got done going up Mount Eisenhower, which is right after the one of the huts that starts in the M. I can't print, I don't remember what it's called, but we stopped in there and got some leftovers from dinner last night for free, which we didn't know you could do. We've been passing some of these huts and not stopping in because we're not staying there or anything. But um, we were, we heard at the shelter last night, Woo almost fell. We heard at the shelter last night that uh, you can just stop in a little after breakfast or a little after lunch and uh, ask for leftovers from the caretaker and they'll just give them to you because they, uh, they're very eco, friendly and they don't want to just get rid of or throw food away so they just save them for the through hikers so we really enjoy that and there hasn't been any good views today because it's still just cloudy but at least it's not raining well, right we're now we're here at the uh, lakes of cloud or uh, lakes of the cloud uh hut and it finally cleared up a little bit to have a view somewhat of a view but um there's the hut, the side of it, anyways. But we weren't able to do work for stay. There was already like seven other hikers here uh, signed up to do work for stay. So we were allowed to pay 10 bucks and we'll sleep on the floor, which is still okay because the other shelters we were paying were eight bucks. So this one actually has restrooms and clean water we don't have to filter. So that's okay. But, uh, yeah, pretty nice. Hopefully tomorrow we're going up Mount Washington, which is up that way. And it should uh, be it's clear like this or somewhat clear. Uh, but we'll be doing that in a mile in the morning. Good morning at day 138. And you can see the top of Mount Washington there. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, we just have to go. It says 1.4 along that up there but uh hopefully there'll still be a nice view up there when we get up there uh, here we are pretty much at the summit and there's a lot more stuff up here than i thought there was there's a restaurant and a whole bunch of stuff summit's up this and way and here we are at the top like a perfect day. This is such a good view. We should be going down up along here, I believe. And shoo. But uh, there's also a road here that people can just drive up instead of hike. 1800 miles or so here, but whatever I guess whatever fits you best There's also a train track that comes up the mountain and Well, we found cool. the train coming down uh, From up there Can't tell if it's going down or up, but we found it. Well, this is the trail here It's just a whole bunch of rocks and all these uh little stacks of rocks are basically what we're following and they all have a little yellow blaze on them for the trail that we're following through the, this part of the whites but uh it's pretty cool all the mountains are rocks basically and up there is where we're going before mount madison oh, the fog's starting to roll in uh you can see the hut down there that's madison hut right behind it is Mount Madison that we'll be going up right after we're gonna stop in the hut and see if there's any leftovers from dinner last night or breakfast and then keep on going this will be about seven miles into our day and we got another almost eight left to do